want some of this right in your brain? Yeah, we did it, dude! I can't even believe that! Can we get our spear sword up the world? A vasty scurvy dog that your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam, the backwards walking pirate here. Playing Atlas, ladies and gentle peeps. What is up the world? It is your friendly neighborhood shipwreck Van Dam here. Doing stuff thing. Whoa, there's a Smithy here. We're doing stuff and things. Playing some Atlas, ladies and gentle peeps. Thanks so much for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure if you like the video, you want to see more Atlas, smash the thumbs up button. You know what to do, peeps. But today we're back. And there's a lot of stuff and things to talk about, man. Oh my gosh. So yesterday we saw uh, on the channel on the YouTubes an Atlas video that I recorded with John Bain. And we're back today to do something in Atlas again, but it's a little bit different. And there's a lot of stuff and things happening. And I, I got to talk to you guys about it so that you guys understand. I feel like if I just head forward and do stuff and things and don't say anything to you guys, you're not going to understand what the heck is going on. So... Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, first and foremost, I guess I should say, I, lo I know there's been a lot of negativity out there about Atlas. Um, it's definitely been, um, it had a rocky start. It had a very, 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 whose poop is this? Dude, poop. Small creature feces. Unbelievable and amazing. So there's been a rocky, rocky start for this game. It really is too bad. Um, Wildcard and uh, whatever they have decided to name the new studio that it, with Grape Shot that's doing Atlas. Um, they made some mistakes. Let's just say it. Let's just, let's be just, let's just say it. They should have just waited until their game was ready and released it. Maybe even after Christmas. I think they would have done a lot better. Um, but they've released like, dude, look at that. That's the world border. I don't think we can pass through right now. We're having some issues with that. Or that's just the world border we can't pass through for some reason. But all right, shiny thing. Uh, let's talk about what's going on here. So yeah, it's been a bit of a rocky start, but now we're back. What time is it? Uh, 19.32. Crap, it's going to be night soon, and I'm not going to be able to see anything. So, um, But it's been really fun to log in the last couple of days since coming back from my vacation, hanging out with my family, and seeing that a lot of things have been fixed, and things are going better for the game, and it's really, really nice to see that. I recorded a little bit with John Bain yesterday. We were just kind of like, you know what I mean? Getting our feet wet, so to speak. <laughs> you know, pirate joke, kind of. And then uh, we were just kind of exploring around and doing some stuff and things. Now, um, here we are on a different server. And it's kind of a experiment for, for me and my community. Um, and it is called the Salvation Server. Now, I'm opening this server up to uh, supporters on Twitch who are subscribers or supporters on Patreon who su uh, support at the $5 level. Or higher, you can join my Discord. And then uh, once you have access to the Discord, we can get you uh, into Salvation. Um, and you'll be able to play here. So it's going to be pretty cool, man. It's going to be like a whole community deal. Now, I will say, it's going to be a bit of a rocky start. Speaking of picking up rocks, um, we are working on building this server up for a larger community for the first time. Um, we've never done anything like this before. And so... Um, Logic Servers and Mousy Mars, who runs LogicServers.com, has been working hard night and day to get this server up and running so that our community can play on it. And I'm very excited to play with people before we've never really done. I've never really personally done like um, a subserver since we did this for Minecraft. So I'm very excited about it. I can't wait to see how it's all going to go down. Um, and it's just, it's just interesting, man. We need more wood and we need more fibers. All right, let's punch more trees. So I feel like a little bit discombobulated because of all the things that I want to tell you about what's going on. If you don't know what Atlas is at all, um, it is from the creators of Ark Survival Evolved at the uh, wild card. I think they're calling it Grape Shot, which is like an offshoot type studio. And they went ahead and created this game. It's not really a mod. It's kind of a mod. It feels a little bit like a mod, but it really isn't. It's really more than that. There's really a lot more going on here. I mean, it feels like a mod because, oh, wait, man, it's a turtle, but it's smaller, and it has Sarko noises. But you know, And there is some stuff like that in the game where you see like it's kind of coming from Ark, but there's a lot more going on here, too. So I'm very excited. Like um, The other thing is that... Do I have enough? Do I have enough stuff and things to build it? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, I need fibers now. Um, the other thing was that when John and I were recording the video that you guys saw yesterday, is that fibers? Can I get fibers here? Oh, wait. That's stones. 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 A lot of stones. Can't get fiber from that. Um, when John and I were recording the video yesterday, we were on a Pooping Evolve-specific server. 
And like I said to you before, this is the Salvation server. Now, the Pooping Evolve server was made for people to kind of play solo. So, and this game is really designed for you to have a company. Now, we have a company right here. It's called the Booty Barnacles. That's going to be the company that I'm starting. Um, and we're going to hopefully get a large community together to do that on this server. So, when we were playing on Pooping Evolve with John, you may have noticed that the gather rates were really, really, really high. Um, and it was really designed more for... Uh, a single player kind of deal. This game, uh, this server is designed more for um, multiple players and companies to be a thing. And so, what do we need to build this guy right now? Flint. Uh, and so, the gather rates are a little more, bit more reasonable. Um, if you do decide to come over and play with Salvation, keep in mind the map that we have currently today, right now, may not be the map. Hey, you want to go, sir? Do you want to go? We got to be careful, man. I got killed by a level 158 alpha seagull earlier. Um, but yeah, if you want to play on this server, you guys got to keep in mind that the map might not stay. We might have to do a wipe. There's all sorts of downtime happening right now because updates are going on. Configs are being changed. Stuff and things are being learned. Um, and so nothing in this state is necessarily permanent, but that's cool. Cause then you can get a feel for stuff. You can possibly make mistakes. You'll be, Oh dude. Every time I hear that noise, I think it's a Sarko. Uh, you'll be able to make mistakes. You'll be able to remedy those mistakes and it will be really fun. Um, in the beginning to kind of just play with abandon and kind of do whatever it is that you want to do and have a great time doing it. So, all right. I feel like that was like five minutes of super boring information. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay here. So we're building stuff and things now. We're going to get our torch going. We've got a couple of levels on this character already. And I decided to go with something a little bit different from uh, the old Tiny. We've had Tiny for a long time. And our pirate now, super tall again, but really slight and skinny. Shipwreck Van Dam. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pump Fortitude. We have 34 right now because we have this vitamin bonus. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then this is the kind of upgrades tree. So we have three basically Engram points. They just called them points in this. And then we can unlock different things down here that give us different abilities. You know how this is. But it's a little bit more of an MMO style. I don't know whose kid over at Grape Shot invented this. But um, yeah, it's a little bit confusing. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look. I've already unlocked the basics, which gives me tools, campfires, cloth stuff and things, and the simple bed. I have unlocked this, which I feel like is ridiculously expensive. You get all this for one skill point, and then this is just, just the spear uh, for one skill point. And then I've got three now, but I'm not really sure what I want to do next. Um, I feel like I want to go down this tree right here to help us with vitamins, and I'll explain that in a little bit. But look, let's see. We got to go. All right. So we got to get cooking. There's no greater. Wait, wait. Unlocks the cooking and farming discipline. Oh, so this is two skill points. Let's do it. And then here, this is unlocked a different area. And then we can do basic cooking, cooking pot, hard tack, berry tea, and ale. Crap. I don't know if I wanted to do this. Damn it. Like, I didn't know. Hmm, I may have made a mistake there early game. But eventually, I'm sure that we'll want cooking. Um, I don't think we're going to take swimming, but now I don't have enough skill points for that. All right. Whoa, it's night. Oh, my God. All right. So it's night. Let's go ahead and get our torch. Now, if we take this and just put it on our guy, look at that, man. It lights up behind you, so you don't have to hold it in your hand. And it's slightly unrealistic just because, you know, it would burn the crap out of your back. Um, also, let me see here. If we look at the durability of it, I want to see what happens when you go underwater. Does it defect? Does it affect the durability? Okay, it just unequips it when you go swimming. And then, it did it take a durability hit? No. All right. So, I, there we go. So, we have a little bit of light here. You can equip it. You can equip the torch like that, and we're good. You can see a little bit better. But I don't think really... I mean, it makes a little bit of difference, but I love the fact that you can just put it on your back and then go about your day doing stuff and things. So, um, this guy here is the claim flag. If we go F1, you can see. Place claim flag. And it looks like maybe right here, placement here will contest VT Gamer Company. So there's a, wait, there's another company here, and he's got this flag right here. This is VT Gamer Place. But it looks like also, even though I'm not in his company, for some reason I can access his inventories. <laughs> Do we want to friggin' take all of his booty? Look at all the stuff he's got. He's got common. He's got metal tools already, dude. He's friggin' Leet Haxor. 
You know it. Um, so, yeah. What do we want to do next? Probably spears, right? Let me see here. What do we got to do to get that going? Some more hot fiber action. I'd love to get a sickle as well. I cannot wait, you guys, to play this game. And I'm so excited to possibly play it with the community, too. Because I just think it's going to add, like, such a great new element. Um, now, the way that we're doing PvP so far on Salvation is there's going to be only one PvP zone. So if we go inside of here and hit our atlas, you can see that there are multiple areas here. And we have nine. Um, I think they call them grids or regions. Um, and we're in B2 right now. And I do believe the way that we're supposed to have this set up is there's only going to be one of these regions where PvP is enabled. So you'll be able to log in, play, build up your cities, build your boats, do stuff and things, play completely PvE. And if you want to do PvP, you have a place to go to do that. So pretty cool. That way there's not any griefing going on. I've heard the official servers are a friggin' disaster garbage wasteland of uh, alpha tribes completely annihilating anybody who wants to log in and play. Uh, so... Yeah, that's what I hear, man. That's the story around the campfire. So I feel like this is going to be a really good uh, idea. I love the way that um, I think really it was Mousy, Zuljin, Drax, and some other people who have really been um, taking point on setting all this up. And they're doing an amazing job. And I think that's such a great idea to do one little PvP zone inside of there so that people can have a place to do that. That may change in the future. I'm not sure exactly what's going to go on. But uh, yeah, we'll see. So I can only craft Aspear. I'm going to need more than Aspear. Now, I could probably put this, like, over here. There's our ass spear. And then what do we need for more spears? Hot wood action. Go team. Grab this right over here. So the gather rates are pretty low here, man. I feel like they're only... Are they just... Are they two times? Hold on. Let me see. Mm, let me just grab a stone. Oh, they might not even be changed. We're gathering one stone at a time. Um, they may be doing individual changes to individual gather rates, but it looks like the gather rates are near to vanilla. All right, so hot wood action now. We can craft uh, three spears. How many spears can we get in a stack? That's a good question. Oh, and so, yeah, the map. Remember, you can hit I and then go into your inventory. Check out the atlas here, and then you can zoom in. You can zoom all the way in like this. It looks like you can change some saved views and stuff. I don't really know much about that. But you can also hit your M button, and that pulls up your map and a compass. Um, you can see if you right-click here, you can actually hold it closer. Dude, my hand looks like a friggin' spider. Dude, that's mesmerizing. Dude, he is so agile. Oh, God, I'm gonna puke. So you can kind of view your map here, and if you make changes to your map in the atlas, like if we go like this, you see it changes in your map view there, too. Pretty cool stuff and things. How many spears in a stack? Looks like more than three. Dude, that's amazing. We need more wood to craft more. Let's see if we can craft a little bit more. And then how much do they weigh? 12? It looks like they're weighing quite a bit. Maybe we won't craft more. Dude, do you hear that? I heard music. So we can attack some stuff. Oh, let me see here. What level are you? Get wrecked! Oh, crap. He's running away. We did it! Nailed it! Ace the camp! He stopped! We killed our first thing in this game! Oh, I can't even imagine it. Okay. No, 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 no. No, you do da da da. Don't do that. Uh. Oh, that's it? We're gonna need way more stuff and things than that. Um. Oh, pig. Okay, are you aggressive? Level 16? Do you guys think we should? I feel like we should not. I feel like we should look for a turtle. What's that? Wait, I'm hearing all sorts of stuff and things. Where are these guys? Okay, here we go. Level 11. I'm going to try to stay around his back. He's done it. Nailed it. Ace did camp. He stopped. All right, does it actually say on here? It doesn't say. So, oh, right click for more information? No, it doesn't say if these are... I'm assuming it's like Ark. Um, if one gets more skin and one gets more... Yeah, it looks like. So the hatch is getting way more leather. And then the other thing that's super confusing about this game that I think is really kind of dumb is that there are different names for resources. So you can see in the upper right-hand corner here, see how that looks like a little piece of hide? It's kind of hard to see it. But so this is pelt. This is leather, but they're both considered hide. So you can see here we have the hide that we need. And I feel like that's kind of silly but i don't know so it's kind of regional based and and, and who is this vt gamer 
Dude, can I poop on you? Plus Z? Man, there's no poop in this game? They took out the best freaking part of Ark? I don't know about these people over at Wildcard, man. I'll tell you. I really just don't know. Uh, all right, so we're going to grab some more fiber. Dude, what? Oliphant? I didn't even notice it. Oh, my God. Are you freaking aggressive, Oliphant? Level three? Dude. Dude. Do we kill it? Do we? Dude, armor? Okay, we need fiber for days and days. Uh, It's super dark. I wish it was daytime. It looks like it's going to be a few hours before it's daytime. What? Oh, okay. Do you think we can kill a level three Oliphant? I don't know if we can. Let's get our fiber here together. Oh, you wait, man. I mean, you're amazing and awesome, but I want to see how many friggin' leather pelts I can get out of you, homie. Okay. Uh, we need chest piece. Wait, crap. What? All right. Booties, gloves. More fiber. You guys, I should have maybe borrowed VT sickle. Also, no, not also. Never mind. <laughs> All right, we get enough to get legs now. Oh my god! Leggings? He's done it. All right. All right, look at all the information that's in here, man. There's a ton of information. Um, okay, four spears, or do we want more spears? So we need more fiber and wood. Let me craft some stuff and things up here. I'll be RBs, peeps. Okay, I borrowed some tools from BT real quick. We're going to squirt those guys back inside of there. We have nine spears now. Do you guys think this is going to be enough? Let's see how this works out, man. Maybe we should... I don't know. Let's do it. Get some! Oh my god! Oh, ow. Okay. You want some of this right in your brain? Yeah, we did it, dude! I can't even believe that! Can we get our spears back? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, amazing! We can get our spears back mostly. Oh my god, I can't even get over this. Oh, I got him right in the hind end. Does he have the cloaca still? <laughs> Is it the mammoth reskin? Okay, let's see. Can we... Uh, come on, I want to try to climb up his butt. I can't, how, can, how come I not? I'm freaking so tall. How come I can't jump? I got no freaking hops, man. I need more mad hops. Okay, let me see here. Where did... Wait, did I get it? There was a spear around here somewhere. Uh, okay, it doesn't look like this is happening. Uh, let us go ahead and utilize our friendly neighborhood VT gamers hatchet yet again uh and then you can only put so many things in your hot bar by the way i do believe only so many one-handed and two-handed weapons uh also when you equip something in your hot bar it has a cooldown timer so you can't use it right away um it's kind of weird i think it's to add a little bit of mmo aspect to stuff and things we got marrow we got bone All right, not bad, not bad. We got some cool stuff and things from that. All right, let's pop over here like so. Let's go ahead and squirt that in there for him. Let's talk about making some food. All right, so inside of here, light fire. You got any meat inside of there, buddy? He's got four wood. We can add two more. And let's go ahead and squirt in animal meat. Now, the way that food works in this game, in the right-hand side there, you can see four small bars. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about this whole situation, but basically there's like four types of food. Um, I think it goes vegetable, meat, berry, and fish, I think. So watch this, when we go and we hit seven, see, you can see the first one goes, if we hit nine, yeah. So vegetables, meats, berries, and fish. And you kind of have to balance those in between all these different things. So, I don't know if you can actually see it in here. I've not looked. Oh, we got another deal. I think we're going to go to 10 Fortitude. Only three points available. I need archery really bad. So, I'm going to go ahead and unlock that. All right. So, now we can't do anything. All right. So, all we did, I think, was unlock the tree. All right. So, we're going to do that next. And then, when we get more skill points, we'll get into bows and all of this. So, all right. So, we're cooking up some meat now, like 
So we've only got six of our spears left. Let's pop over here and see if we can find um, some fish. We're going to try to kill a fish. Are you a fish? I saw something. Uh, see? Okay. Turtles. Okay. I don't see fish. Let's pop over here. What? Okay, there's fish. Okay, I see fish. I'm swimming ridiculously slow. Dude! No, don't swim away! You're kidding me, man. I need an aggressive fish. Okay, hold on. We'll go back up. Get some air. Did I kill it? Wait, what? Oh. Is it on me? Oh, wait. I think I have it in my hand. Interesting. So it automatically, like, put it in my hand? Let's pop over to the shore here. And then maybe E? Okay. <laughs> it dropped it. Weird. Okay, fish meat. Okay, so we got some. All right, so we were successful. We successfully fished. Uh, fished? Hey, what do you call fish with no eyes? All right, so um, let's pop over here and try to kill this guy. He looks kind of big. We got it. All right, and then it automatically gives us the fish. There was a swimming perk. I really feel like I'm going to take that. I need more attribute points. Um, I guess that just means I got to level up a little bit more. Okay, we're going to drop him there. Dude, look how big this fish is. This thing is amazing. We're freaking expert fisher people now. Dude, he's upside down fish. I love it. All right, so cool. Why do I have to hit it a million times? Wait, what? Oh, I hit back. Oh, sorry. Uh, so let me see. How much fish meat do we have now? Uh, nine. Okay, nine fish meat. Let's head back over to our fire. So, I'm not super impressed with the idea of the four different food groups, busy box, of having to eat all sorts of different stuff all the time. But, um, if I'm not mistaken, once you start to get cooking, you can get multiple things from one kind of food. So, it does add, again, it's another little MMO piece to the game where somebody in your tribe might be better at cooking, or pardon me, <clears throat> your company might be better at cooking. And so... You know, they're going to be able to cook better food for your company, especially when you're out um, in the ocean. Because when you're on ships, let's put that instead of there like so. Light fire, squirt this in there. Oh, my God. We're making moves now. When you're out on ships, um, I think you get like uh, a, a, almost like a food debuff. You required more food or food is less effective. I think something like that. So, yeah. Um, all right. I'm going to cook some food and then I have an idea for what we could do next. Okay, let's do this, ladies and gentle peeps. I'm fat with resources and I'm ready to build our first ship. The first booty barnacle ship in our booty barnacle fleet. Dude, look at that over there, man. There's an island over there. That's so cool. All right, so I'm hoping. We have to name the raft. Oh my God, dude. I have no idea what to do. Um. Um. Let's name it. Unsinkable 2. Wait, wait. Unsinkable 2. Unsinkable 2. Lol. There it is, you guys. Our first ship. It's unbelievable and amazing. I'm so very excited by this. Okay, hold on. We got to see. Can we see the nameplate? The Unsinkable 2. Look how beautiful it is. <laughs> I love that name. All right. <coughs> Pardon me. Uh, can we get up? Can we jump on it? Is, is it possible? Why can't we get up on it? There we go. All right. So we're up on the ship. Sweet. Let's go ahead and take it out for its maiden voyage. Unfurl the sail. You can see the winds in the upper right-hand corner. Oh, the little line is the furlness. Eh, little line comes down. It kind of looks like a power deal. So the little line comes out. That's the furlness. Oh, yeah, baby. We're freaking sailing now, ladies and gentle peeps. Oh, yeah. We're freaking sailing. I'm so excited. Oh, my God. Uh, okay. Okay. So, there's like a thing over here. I wonder if these are like real things. And then I wonder what happens if we hit the ground as hard as we can with the ship. Let's go ahead and rotate the sails. 22 degrees. 22 degrees to port. 
I want to see if that's like a cave or if it's just like a straight up, I don't know, just thing in the world. We got to take a look here. It looks like we're coming in for a landing. We're slowing down. Let's go ahead and fully close the sails. And then that should automatically anchor us. Uh, yes? No? Hmm. Normally you get an anchor icon. Is it moving? I feel like we're good. Spears out. Just in case. Let's do some exploring, man. See what this is all about over here. So it looks like the server, at least this area that I'm in right now, is pretty... Dude, there's a torch up there. Dude, what? And I don't know how to fly. So it looks like the server's pretty barren. I don't see a lot of people, at least in the area that I'm in right now. Can you get up there? It doesn't look like there's a way up. Okay, there's our anchor icon right there. Okay, maybe... Okay. All right, he's done it. All right, we're up here. All right, sweet. Can we inter interact with this? Or is it purely... No, we can't interact with it. It doesn't look like this is a thing. It just looks like it's like just a cool thing in the world. But there's no... It's not actually signifying anything. Um, it would be a good place to build, maybe. That way you could kind of see, you know, where it is that your base was from far away. Oh, my God, you guys. I'm so excited to get going and doing this. It's going to be so, so, so very cool. All right, the Unsinkable 2 is ready to rock. Ladies and gentle peeps, that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you so much for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure if you like the video and you want to see more stuff and things, show your support. Smash the thumbs up button. Feel free to share and favorite the video as you see fit. Special thanks to everybody that supports the channel on Patreon.com slash Slipgator. You guys are unbelievable and amazing. Thank you so much for watching. And may the stuff and things be with you. Wait, give me that back.